Hello. Hi. How are you, man? Hello. Uh, thanks for coming today. My name is Ko from Hanabi Maru. Can I have your name and where you're from, please? Yeah. Uh, my name is Romina, and I'm from Mexico. My name is Vidal, and I'm from Mexico as well. Nice. Thank you. Uh, for today, I'm taking to I'm taking you to a very traditional Japanese restaurant. Are you guys ready? Awesome. Yes. Let's, right, go. let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> So yeah, uh, first of all, we like to start with drinks. Okay. And yeah, so these are the menus. Uh, is it okay if I put it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Izakaya place. Do you know what Izakaya is? Izakaya is like a you know, drinking uh, place in Tokyo. Oh, okay. Drink a Japanese bar. Izakaya. And, yeah. We have beer. We have chuhai, uh, wine. Mm. And uh, I'd like to recommend something that is... Sake. Sake. You want to try sake? Yeah. yeah. I've never tried sake. You want to try sake? But I'm not really sure which one like it's... I have not tried it like as often. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really an expert of, of sake. Right, right. If you have any suggestions, I can take it. Yes, yes. Uh, for sake, we have sweet one and sweet. a dry one. Okay. Yeah. Which one would you uh, prefer? Okay. You try, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll go. Like I, uh, and I can try the sweet, the gotcha. sweet one. Okay. Let me see what they have. Okay. Uh, what is something like... Yeah. Because in Mexico it's always like, depending what you're eating, it's what you're drinking. Not all the time. All right. But you're usually like, oh, if you're eating seafood, yeah. it's most likely you're, you're going to drink a beer. Mm. Because it, it gets or a beer or like white wine. White yeah, wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're eating like tacos, it's mm -hmm. definitely just beer. Oh right. Just beer. I see, I see, I see. And tequila is more like uh, just meat. Without just without meat. You, you you usually don't drink tequila and eat at the same time. Mm -hmm. So oh, what right. about you guys? Is it just like whatever you want at any time? So yeah, it just like when we go to the Italian restaurant, the French restaurant, there's always like those combinations or like that. But usually, you just we just drink whatever, whatever you're whatever craving. You yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. So, uh, thanks for coming today. Thank you. Oh, thank you for inviting us. Yeah. 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 How long have you been in Japan? I've uh, been here for six days. Six days. Yeah. Me three. Okay. So you guys came here separately? Yeah. Yes. Right. 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 <laughs> she came first, and then I got here after uh -huh. her. Mm. She's my sister. Yeah. Uh, she's your sister? Yeah. So you're siblings? Yes, yep. siblings. I see, I see. So uh, what brought you to Japan this time? Is it touring or... Uh, yeah, mostly else? like touring. Tourism, get to know the city, get to know oh, the country, the try people, some food. The people, yeah. The people, the culture. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh, arigato gozaimasu. So yeah, we got the sake, uh, both sweet one and dry one, and this one is awesome. Yeah, kubota and hakai san. We're gonna get to them later. But okay. Yeah, before that, do you know what this is? Towel. Yeah, it's towel. To the hands. So yeah, uh, basically this thing's called oshibori. Oshibori. Oshibori, which is like a, it's like a wet towel. To use, uh, you know, we use it to clean up your hands. And uh, you know, you can also use it while you're eating, like uh, wiping your mouth or like oh, that. okay. So yeah, let's get to sake, huh? Ah. <laughs> sake. There you go. There you go. Um, I'm scared. Yeah, you're scared? Excited, but scared. And so yeah, uh, for Vito, uh, dry one? Yeah. Okay, dry one. So this thing's called Hakkai san. It's a very relatively dry one. There you go. And for Lumina, uh, this is a uh, Kubota, the sweet one. Okay. There you go. Wow. Yeah, nice. So yeah, we like to make a toast, but yes. But do you know how to say cheers in Japanese? No. Oh, I knew. Oh, yeah, oh. you know. No, I forgot. But I forgot. Yeah. Wait, wait, how do you say it? So yeah, it's kampai. 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 Yes. So yeah, for your uh, journey, kampai. Hey, kampai. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Kampai. Kampai. Mmm! It's really good. Really yeah. smooth. Yeah, oh, smooth. Yeah. In Mexico, campai we say salud. Salud. Uh -huh. So it's like for help. Alright, for help. And <laughs> then it's another one that it's like up, so it's arriba. Like, oh. Arriba. Uh -huh. yeah. Abajo. Abajo. Al centro. 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 Centro
Mm. Uh, for people that are used to drinking tequila, this thing, the sake, might be a little, a little bit weak in a com uh, compared to those, uh, you know, strong. Liquid. It's like yeah, a very smooth. Yeah. I, I really like it. I want to, I want to ask you something. So, uh, what percentage do you think this is for sake? Eight percent. Eight percent. Vira, eight percent. Mira. I was gonna say. You like nine. Nine, nine percent. Mm. It's actually usually it's fifteen percent. Wow. Yeah. So wow. It's yeah. amazing because uh, in some places in Mexico, ¿cuánto Thank es el tequila? Tequila, it's forty. Forty to yeah. forty five. Uh -huh. yeah. So that, that's why maybe I was like because it's super smooth. Mm -hmm. And you can drink it very easily. Mm. Like for me, tequila sometimes the flavor is too much, and you just go like, Ugh, you know. Yeah. And with sake, you can really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so yeah, we got the first tomatoes. This is mayonnaise. Yes, that's mayonnaise and salt. There's a greeting in Japanese. It's like you know, you say appreciation for food. And right before eating. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what it is? No. I've heard it, but it's. No, I have no clue. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, it's itadakimas, 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 itadakimas. Itadakimas. Do you wanna give it a try? Yeah. Yeah. Itadakimas. Itadakimas. Hmm. Smooth. Really fresh. Kind of like fresh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, mayonnaise and, and salt. And salt. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. I like this one. Yeah. Kind of reminds yeah. me a little bit of Mexico. Yeah, of home. Does it? Yeah. yeah, because there's not a lot of people do it, but sometimes when you're like, oh, I'm hungry, but I'm, it's more like a snack. Yeah. People like uh, sliced tomato with mayonnaise. Mm. And lemon. And we have lemon. Lemon, you're right. Yeah. So yes, the next one we have here is... I have no clue what is this. You have no clue? The Japanese... The name of that dish is called Aburi Shimesoba Yakumi Azito Oroshikori. Can you say it again? <laughs> yeah, Aburi Shimesoba Yakumi Azito Oroshikori. And yeah, what they have is, you know, grilled horse mackerel uh, marinated with uh, we'll sponsor the, the, uh, the soy sauce based vinegar. Mm -hmm. They put some radish on it, the grinded radish. And they have negi, the green onion on top. And uh, yeah, beautifully marinated, beautifully uh, decorated. And uh, yeah, let's have it. Woo! Thank you. It's really strong. Yeah, it is. It's like a very specific kind of flavor. Not like in Mexico, you definitely would never find this. So it's like a different good. The next one we have here is called. Ta -da! So yeah, it's a basically a Japanese omelette, mm -hmm. but it's shiso mentai cheese dashi makitamago. I love how the long <laughs> the, names. The weird names. Yeah, a, we would never yeah, be able yeah. to say it. So mentai cheese shiso is a you know. Is this one this green leaf thing? Okay. I always tell non-Japanese people that uh, this is uh, Japanese basil. <laughs> <laughs> they have Japanese basil on top. They have mentaiko, which is like a fish roe, small, small fish roe, mm -hmm. small fish eggs. And they put it, and they, when they make omelettes, you know, they, the omelette like this are called dashimaki tamago, which is like dashi means in you know, a Japanese uh, fish based broth. The maki is in rolling. Okay, Tamago yeah. is egg. So yeah, this is a dash mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess they have some cheese sauce on it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it smells so good, huh? Look how soft this is. This is very yeah. soft, yeah. Do you like cheese? Do you guys like yeah. cheese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, cool. It looks like cheese. super fluffy. It is yeah. fluffy, yeah. Mmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. It's, it's it's like an omelette, but yeah, different. Mm. It all has like a, a flavor of ham. Mm? Yes, yes. Uh, 
Yeah, I noticed the smoked flavor. I think it's a cheese. They use a smoked cheese, I guess. Yeah, it's really it, good. It's really good. Yeah? Really good. Yeah. Really good. Oh yeah. Amazing. Nice. Mmm. Yeah, this is definitely approved. Oh, nice. Cool. I think it's my favorite one so far. Oh yeah. Really this is new for us and it's it's really good. Really good. 100% It's good, yeah. Yeah, recommend. Mm. Really, really good. So yeah, I was gonna ask you, so what are the, you know, Japanese dish you've tried so far here in Japan? Mm. We tried like the, the miso soup, mm. some ramen. Miso soup. Yeah, we love miso soup. Wow. But it was not, it was like onigiri. Yeah. Oh my god, I, I tried the yeah, pickle tried plum. Onigiri. Pickle plum? Yeah. Wow. I like, loved it. This is the first time I heard it. Like some tourists trying pickle plum. I love it. Was it. Good. Wow. Really, and also I had the one with like a spicy tuna. Mm -hmm. The, spi really the spicy tuna was really good. Mm. So yeah, I had the this one. Show ramen. Yes. So are you guys students or are you at work? No, mm -hmm. I'm a businessman. Uh, yeah, you're a businessman, I see. Yeah, I work in the construction industry. So and uh, Romina. Uh, you are a film student? Yeah, student. Like student. student. I'm I a see. film student too. Amazing. So yeah. Do you want to get to the Wagyu? Yep. Alright. This is uh, Kuroge Wagyu no Akami steak. Kuroge Wagyu is a Japanese cattle, Japanese black. Akami steak, that means, you know, that's a medium rare steak. Okay. And you have some seasoning and uh, some spices. Dijon mustard yeah, and, and wasabi. And wasabi. You can eat whatever the way you like, but for Japanese people, you usually eat it with wasabi. Okay. With wasabi? Yeah. Do you put it on the top or how yeah. do you do it? Yeah, like oh. sashimi. Oh, okay. Okay, it's really shocking. Yeah, you gotta try that one. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we do it is that, you know, the wagyu, the Japanese beef, are relatively fatty. And uh, when you eat it with wasabi, it just gets, gives you this you know, smooth texture, smooth okay. taste. Okay. Because in Mexico, I don't know if it's not authentic or whatever mm -hmm. it is, sometimes it's spicy as hell. <laughs> mm. <Like. laughs> so yeah, when wasabi kicks, it, you know, kicks your nose, it's breathing from your nose, it helps you. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. <a> spicy. <laughs> it is. For us, this is spicy. Ah, right. But I guess it's like a different kind of spicy. Because yeah. we're not used to it. Because mm. this thing goes away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, now it's good, but it's it's strong. Oh yeah, let's go. Woo! Woo. <laughs> mm. It's really good. Oh yeah, really really good. It's really smooth. It's really mm. smooth. So yeah, how's the combination with the wasabi? I like it because, like you said, with the like the Thank fatty you. of the meat. You don't get that very strong flavor of the wasabi. But this thing is was really, really good. Mm. Really good. No, I put a, a bunch of yeah, mustard. mustard. Well, provecho. Provecho. Let's go. I don't know if you can see how, like, soft. Yeah, it's soft. It's uh, medium rare. Mm -hmm. mm. It's so 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 good. Wow. Ten out of a hundred. Ten out of a hundred. No, 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 hundred out of ten. Hundred out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's really good. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Kampai! <laughs> but with the wagyu and the sake, really good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I have one question. So the next one we're gonna have, we, uh, what we were planning to order was uh, yakisoba. You know, it's uh, fried soba, fried noodle, but. Since you guys like takoyaki, since you guys try takoyaki, uh -huh. the, you know, uh, what, the fried octopus? Yeah. Fried. I was planning to order uh, something similar to that one. Do you know okonomiyaki? So yeah, okonomiyaki is like uh, you have the dough and the, the uh, 
They fry it on tepa, the the plate. The pork. Okay. Fried pork in it. Uh, either of those, whatever you want, we're yeah. open. But the only thing is, like, I'm not really used to eating pork. Right, right, right. Uh, so for the final part, uh, we are planning to have uh, the okonomiyaki, but something that's not pork, something okay. that doesn't have pork. We're trying to have the uh, you know seafood okonomiyaki, the seafood. Okay, okay. Perfect. So yeah. Are the high balls? Yeah, basically a uh, soda, whiskey. There you have it. Come. Hey. Come bye. Come bye. Come bye. Awesome. Ooh. I like this one. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Really Very good. fresh. Really good. Really, really good. Nice. Mmm. Better at this end. Yeah? Oh yeah, Suntory. Excuse me. So you're the first time trying highball. This one is really good. It's like really refreshing. Like on a so, hot day, on a beach. Or... I really like this one yet yeah, too because mm -hmm. I'm usually a type of person that I like fresh drinks. Yeah. And yeah, I guess I think you can eat it like when you can drink it with anything. Mm -hmm. Like you... this. Yeah, same like because I'm not a big yeah. beer drinker. I am. Are you? Yeah, yeah I, I usually I would get beer. this one. Right. I drink a lot. You drink a lot? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing at it? Why are you laughing at it? Because I just told it's the, true? the straight oh, truth. Oh, right. So it is really true. Yeah, 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 it yeah. is. Yeah. Have you tried Japanese uh, beer? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I have. I tried I, I, uh, Even in Mexico, Sapore, Asai. I don't know. Yevisu? Yevisu, yeah. Yevisu, Yevisu, it's really good. I tried that one. Only wow. that one. But it's really good. It's like a light beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. So, like, do you have any specific thing? No, 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 no. It was. It. I guess that in Mexico, Japan is like a destination that is like everyone wants to get go is there. It? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's 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 hard because it's far. Very, it's really very far. far. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we wanted to come here, especially for the food. Like, wow. Obviously, the culture. Yeah, I guess that it's, it's really different from back home you know it's, mm -hmm. we don't have like temples and stuff and then it was the sightseeing that you guys have, have it's really amazing. beautiful country yeah wow. the way of living the way of people like are in the day-to-day -day, the sightseeing like my brother said like even in the religious kind of part mm -hmm. for you guys you have the temples and the, the shrines and everything and because for us it's like a different thing everything is like so different so we we want to get to know all these places like new places wow but uh, definitely food like japanese food is one of the main things i guess wow uh like that the, baby then the next day that's that's where the mm. breakfast comes from the first bite and the first like soup treat or like the tofu mm -hmm. it's like explosion in your mouth wow. it's like awesome Yeah, let's get to it. So this is okonomiyaki, uh, as you said. Um, so yeah, what you have on top is katsuobushi, uh, the you know dry tomato. And what they did with this was uh, you know they had put some seafood ingredients in it, with some mixed uh, batter. It's a dough, basically dough. Oh, okay, dough. yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's like a very interesting uh, texture. Mm, yeah. Looks like a cake. It does look like yeah. It does look like a cake. Yeah. So the main vegetables they usually put in is cabbage and... Cabbage. Okay. Depends on region. When you go to Hiroshima, they have different style of uh, oh. doing this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we, we wanted to go to Hiroshima. Yeah. They have a shrimp here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. This is hot, yeah. There's one in here. Oh, there's one here. Yeah. Cool. There you go. Oh, there you go. So yeah, uh, so okonomiyaki, uh, taste-wise, it has a very similar flavor, texture, taste to takoyaki. Takoyaki, huh? And yeah, it's very hot, so be careful when you eat it. And uh, yeah, let's go. There you have it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it does have a lot of shrimp. Yeah. 
I'm trying to get. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. If I'm really honest with you, first seeing it, I was like, <laughs> too much stuff on it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it's really good. Mm. Yeah. It's I love really that good. it has a lot of vegetables. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like a lot of things. Yeah. It's really good. Oh, it's going to taste like a seafood because of the shrimp. Yeah. But it's just a mix of, it's like, a lot of flavors. You can, like, mm -hmm. taste the cabbage and then the shrimp and then the what what do you say was called the okonomiyaki sauce the yeah. okonomiyaki sauce okonomiyaki sauce oh really it's good so Ooh, i love it mm, really good i really like it it's mm. really good mm. thanks for coming here uh thank you very much for participating no in this, uh, thank you oh thank you guys you're the best and uh, we have a souvenir for you no you didn't have to. Uh, Ta -da. So yeah, no! <laughs> it's awesome! It's a Japanese snack. Uh, it's wow. a very popular Japanese snack called Umaibo. Uh, delicious stick. And they have 14 flavors from savory ones to sweet ones. <laughs> it looks great. What, what is yeah. it again? Uh, it's called like a stick. Yeah, stick thing. Uh, I can't yeah. wait to try it. <laughs> it looks so cool. It looks, it is Thank good. you. Yeah. Thank Arigato you. Kasaima. Arigato kasaima. Awesome. Thank Thanks you. Like we had a lot of fun. Thank you. Nice. You taught us all, a lot about Japanese cuisine and what culture, and we loved it. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for the experience. It was awesome. really, really nice. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Very much. <laughs> Okay, Vidal and Romina, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the experience. Thank you for bringing us to the channel. Nice. And for an amazing food, an amazing time. Amazing. So yeah, did you guys enjoy your uh, Japanese cuisine? Yes. That's awesome. Awesome. Really nice food you guys had. Really eaten. good. Really tasty. Awesome. Uh, yeah, gracias amigo and enjoy the rest of your trip. Bye. Ooh, bye. Gracias amigo. Gracias. See you. <laughs>